Hello, friends, and welcome to Take Two for this Wednesday, the 20th of October, 2021. I'm Jeannie. I'm so glad you've decided to come along for the ride on this home day. <laughs> well, I'd like to share with you uh, something that I experienced a couple of days ago. Now, in the last few months, our bank has been bought out by another bank. So for the last few months, we've been being prepared that there was going to be a big change in October. And uh, we gave a, were given a lot of warning about this, that there were going to be some very big changes made. Not only was it going to be all rebranded with a new name and things like that, but all the account numbers would change, savings or checking or any of those things. And it was going to be a rather large undertaking. So we were prepared for a very long time. Well, in the last week, it is official and the big changeover has happened. So everything that we were familiar with, for especially Michael and I have been banking with this bank for over 20 years, uh, we were warned that there was going to be some big changes and just to be prepared for it. So I was trying to do all my online banking stuff and I was having a, a little bit of a glitch with my uh, mobile device trying to do some mobile banking. So since I tried everything I thought I was supposed to try and it still wasn't working, I thought, you know what, I'll just go over to the bank in person I'll talk with one of the tellers. They all know me. They greet me as Hello Genie when I walk through the door. And maybe they can explain if I'm zigging when I should be zagging or what have you. So I walked into the bank in person. And right at the door, there was a very pleasant person, probably one of the uh, regional managers or something. And she greeted me at the door and said, Good morning. What can I help you with today? Which is a little bit unusual. But I guess because there's glitches going on, they wanted to be sure that they were as personable as possible. They went above and beyond. So I said, oh, yes, mobile banking, so on and so forth. And she said, oh, yes, no problem. Just go in this office and talk to so-and-so. So I did that. And everybody was so pleasant and so nice. And she even called out to the gal and said, another mobile banking problem. So apparently this is something that was going on in the computer system. It's, you know, it's new and it was a change and these things are bound to happen. They did so many things well that unfortunately a few computer issues is just inevitable, isn't it? So I went in, we sat down, we worked through it. And as a matter of fact, we still hadn't 100% worked through it, but she went as far as she could go and then said, I'll, I'll get back to me if it's not cleared up in the next day or two or whatever. The point is, is that she did everything she could, as much as she could, and we left it at that, and I was content with the incredible level of customer service I received. Well, as I was getting up to walk out of her office, there was a big line of people. I went right when the doors opened, but there was a big line of people all waiting to be served, and this grumpy, mean man mean as a snake, said, this is a bunch of blankety blank blank, okay, out loud in front of ladies, he's talking this way, or out loud in front of anybody he's talking this way is not right. And then he just mowed past me into the office and said, I can't believe this. You're going to need to fix this. And I just thought, oh my goodness. He was actually stirring up the crowd that they were all grumbling and complaining. And I walked out the door and I was so sad because here's this sweet gal trying all she can to run interference when it was a computer glitch that it was not their fault. And I started thinking about something that was told to me many years ago. And that is this, don't complain and blame the waiter if the soup is cold. Because the truth of the matter is, if you don't like the dishes coming out of the kitchen in a restaurant, it's not the waiter's fault that the food isn't cooked correctly. You see, we need people, it's a, I guess it's a human nature thing, but I really do believe that many of us feel like we need to mow down and blame the first person we could come into contact with who might be connected with a situation, even though it's not their fault. They're just the easiest target. 
that poor gal working in that office. It was just the beginning of the day. I walked in the door at nine o'clock, just when the doors opened. I was done with her by say 9.15, okay? And these people, there was a big line out the door of people having issues. And I bet if a lot of those issues, they could have resolved themselves. My point being, they were that grumpy man was ready to blame that girl sitting at that desk for all his woes and troubles simply because he couldn't get something accomplished with his account. And that's just not right. So I'm going to encourage you boys and girls, don't blame and mow down and attack the first person you could find because of something else that you're frustrated about. None of those things were her fault. As a matter of fact, she was there to serve and try to remedy his issues, and already he was getting ready to blame. Stop and think, am I blaming the waiter because the soup is cold? Don't do it. It's just not right, okay? And maybe you might even take a time out to see if it's something you might resolve yourself and uh, the, the only person to blame is yourself. <laughs> Now listen, go be a blessing to somebody today. You may end up being the only one who is. You know, I've thought I might go bake some cupcakes or something and take them over to the bank just to let them all know how much I appreciate them for all their hard work. You know what? I think I just might do that. Now listen, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, Jeannie Sigler, J-E-A-N-N-E-S-I-G-L-E-R. Hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. I'll notify you every time I post another Take Two. And of course, don't forget, please, on Saturday on Ultimate at oldiesradio.com at 9 o'clock Eastern Time, a.m. and p.m. You can hear Eyes of a New York Woman. That's my program. And then on Sunday on oldies700.com, oldies700.com, you can hear it again at uh, 5 o'clock Eastern. Uh, that's uh, 4 o'clock Central. At, um, and you could hear Eyes of a New York Woman immediately followed by uh, On the Road with Chef Michael. Okay, I love you all very much. Have a blessed and wonderful hump day and a great rest of your week and weekend, and I'll see you next week. I love you. Bye-bye. Don't blame the waiter.